Good morning, YouTube. I was tagged from Anubis. So, Anubis wants me to talk about my experiences writing scientific papers. Given I only actually wrote two hypothetical papers, but they were all based on the exact research methods that an individual would use to write a psychological research paper. And psychology is a social science, meaning we use um, statistics and information to hold up our results. So let's talk about the actual scientific method. In the scientific method, you will ask a question. You do some background research. You construct a hypothesis. You test your hypothesis. And then you analyze your results. And then, ideally, you would publish them. But that's only if when you got your results, everything was consistent with your statistics and everything looked good. But be, um, what you published, or actually constructed your paper, to actually get published, you need to go through peer review. And basically, in peer review, they rip your paper apart. Peer review is the battery that allows only the best papers, only the most solid papers, to get through. So, for my social psych lab, um, over the course of the semester, we had gone through and looked at some of the best papers. Um, I'm sure, I believe we studied the Milgram studies, we studied the Uniform Color Aggression study, and a couple of others. And then at the end of the semester, we got to construct our own paper based on the studies that we had looked at over the semester. So, for my hypothetical study, I took the Uniform Color study and I took it in a new direction. Uh, the, if you're not familiar with it, the Uniform Color Study basically talks about how people who wear darker uniforms tend to be more aggressive. And you can look that up online. Actually, I will try to link it below. It's a fascinating paper. Um, the Uniform Color Study actually looked at team jerseys and it found that those people who wore darker jerseys were more aggressive. Um, so I wanted to take this and apply it to law enforcement. I mean, the idea if, what if a law enforcement individual was wearing a light color while they were out on patrol? They might be less aggressive, but then again, what if you're a, re a law enforcement officer in a prison? You might want to be more aggressive. So, um, just as you would with a scientific method, I asked a question. Do dark colors y affect law enforcement? And then I did the background research, which I had to include that study as well as two or three other studies um, and the conclusions drawn from those studies in my introduction section. Then I had to talk about my methods, um, how I was actually going to design the, the experiment, how I was going to set up the experiment. And basically, my setup was amounted to a jail cell construction um, where my participant, the person I'm doing the experiment on, either wore a light colored uniform or a dark colored uniform and they were to take a confederate, um, one of my lab assistants, from one part of the building to another part of the building just as if they were a prisoner in jail. And my confederate was either to act calm or aggressive toward the guard and then using a camera system as well as scoring from the confederate we measured how aggressive the guard was during the scenario. So in my results section, results come after methods, I discussed about how I actually gathered the information, um, like how many times the guard actually physically touched the confederate, how many times the guard used aggressive aggressive expression in their voice when talking or addressing the confederate. Um, and we, we, in my results section I talked about how I added that up and just as I hypothesized in my introduction section um, 
the people wearing dark colored uniforms tended to be more aggressive than those wearing light colored uniforms. And so in a, in a results section you go through and you discuss all this, you discuss why you might think it is, or no, you discuss just all the, the hard numbers. Then you move on to your discussion section where you discuss the whys. Why do you think they were more aggressive? Um, and what do you think you could do better if the, the experiment was to be done again? And then in your conclusion, you take all that information that you gathered and you discussed and you set up what could also be done and how your research could be applied. Through my hypothetical study, I concluded that you would definitely want to put people in prisons or people working more dangerous um, beats, um, more dangerous law enforcement jobs into darker colors because they, that would make them more aggressive um, as well as appear more aggressive. Because hey, if you think somebody's going to be aggressive toward you, you're most likely not going to mess with them. Whereas, you would want to put mall cops, security in public areas in your light colored clothing or light colored uniforms because that would make them um, more attractive like somebody would go up and ask them for help and they themselves would probably be more calm in any given situation um, then if I was to actually get this paper published well like as noted I would have to go through peer review um, and peer review is a biatch but peer review only allows the best papers to get through um, several of my professors said that sometimes they, on um, the papers that they have submitted for peer review, sometimes they don't get published flat out. Sometimes they only get published in lower journals. Um, but if you can get a paper to pass peer review, you know that it's top notch. Like the case of the Milgram studies, the shock board studies. Every follow up study has actually been published because it upholds the hypothesis but furthermore the method that um, Milgram used and the research gathered it was very solid um, and I will also link the Milgram study so you can check it out yeah writing research papers are hard which is why only scholarly people, people who are who are in the academic field get them published. Um, some creationists, some um, anti-gay researchers complain that they can't get their papers published, but that's because it doesn't pass peer review. And the thing is, is that if you can uphold your point with your research, it will get through. It doesn't matter if it goes against the popular philosophy. Hey, the Milgram studies didn't. Most people thought that, um, given a situation, people would not be able to flat out kill somebody um, just because somebody else told them to. But they did, according to these studies, um, which went against popular belief at the time. So it doesn't matter who you are or what your research is about or what conclusions you draw. It's Is your research method good? So yes, those are my experiences. I've never had anything published um, and my study that I did was only hypothetical. It was never actually experimented. It was never actually done. Um, a. It was just a paper for a class. But it taught me how to do research if I was ever to go if I was ever to go to grad school and actually do research. So yes, those are my experiences. Peace out.